Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you. And we got engagement ring that was in a hurry. Ah, they are two. So they are extremely different. The first one is engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. The other one is coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. And then the one that was in my hand, the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So three different energies kind of interesting uh, bottom of the deck we have wedding rings union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise let's also pull from the wisdom of the oracle deck guys imagine which is a cerebral energy for me. Time to go. Time to go. Bottom of the deck we have TikTok. Time factor. So, let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies. They kinda tell a story by themselves, to be honest. And we are ready. So your energies, guys, two of swords, page of wands, ten of swords, your person's energies, five of swords, the tower, the ward, oh, my goodness, meeting energies, hanged man, imagine, four of pentacles, eight of swords, we are stuck, focus, Six of Pentacles, fair and fair exchange, but um, basically it is not manifested properly and so we can run the risk to face the one man up, one man down dynamic, lacking fairness, lacking balance, lacking respect. Two of Cups, uh, bottom of the deck, which is a beautiful energy, we can agree, but this can be the core of the issue, uh, an energy that was not possible to manifest in the proper way. And a chapter is facing its completion. For some of you, the Ten of Swords moment when it comes to the final decision has already uh, manifested itself. The Ten of Swords comes after the Two of Swords, crossroads, a decision, a meaningful decision. The moon in the background can be a fear factor, the necessity to dive deeper into the understanding of something that was different from how it seemed. It can be about the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, which is an ego-driven energy for me, um, is the energy that we can link to the Ten of Swords, double the energy. This pattern was the source of a huge disappointment for some of you guys. The crumbling down of the tower is the result of the Five of Swords uh, ego-driven um, situation. The word coming full circle, completion endings bring new beginnings in this case guys allow me to say liberation for some of you it can be a committed connection even a marriage if we consider the wedding rings oracle card 
For others, it was not possible to move towards um, a marriage, for example. And the meeting of the energies um, sees involved an uncomfortable position, an uncomfortable situation with the hanged man, which can resonate with the Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, the lady. She feels like there is no way out, when in reality the way out is in front of her. She just doesn't see it. The lady in the Eight of Swords, as I usually say, can be the lady in the Two of Swords. But in the Eight of Swords, she cannot think things straight. In the Two of Swords, she can do that. And she can fulfill the hanged man process, which is divine. The hanged man is an energy that cannot be rushed, just like the um, Wheel of Fortune. This is a chapter that uh, finds its completion. There can be protection, safe mode. It can even be about material things. The Page of Wands, guys, we are going to see. Um, it seems a simple way to interact with a partner, with a person that um, truly um, disappointed some of you. Let's find out a little bit more, guys. Let's see. Let's um, let's start with the Two of Swords. Two of Wands, which is a soulful decision for me. Uh, the man in the Two of Wands uh, is holding the word in his hand. So his life for me and also an energy about completion. This person knows that you are the one that holds the uh, final decision about the connection. You are holding the word when it comes to this interaction. Some of you have already let this person know that it is not possible to move forward together anymore. Let's see the page of ones. Queen of Wands. This is an interesting combination because the pages can be uh, fresh and young energies. They can even resonate with uh, children um, according to um, the scenarios. This can be one of those cases. And if it is not part of your story, of course, you leave the message uh, B. But the Queen of Wands can be uh, a parent. The page can be a son or a daughter, for example. And they are an important um, figure within the situation. And the decision about what comes next takes in... Um, great consideration also their interest if it is not um, a matter of children for example uh, this can be some type of an interaction that some of you with a healthy self-confidence may consider even immature because if you are the queen of wands um, you are interacting with a page of one's energy which is smaller with someone that can be ego driven the situation cannot uh, cannot be productive let's see the ten of swords two cards for the ten emperor taking charge and action in this case guys and the wounded warrior nine of wands there is a huge disappointment and um, some of you some of you seem ready to make a decision, take action, and kind of don't uh, look back anymore. Let's see the Five of Swords, this one. Four of Wands. If it was a marriage, it was undermined by the ego of this person. 
if uh, the two of you were not married, it was not possible to move towards the Four of Wands because of the Five of Swords. A behavior that uh, was uh, just about this person. Everything you can do, I can do it better. I know everything. I have all the answers. I do not uh, need to ask um, for uh, different opinions because I know that it is my way or the highway. That's why the tower crumbles down. Let's see the tower. Temperance. This is a lacking when it comes to the ability to look for common grounds, meet other people halfway, um, not being able to compromise, because the temperance is a, a divine alchemy. This person was not able to do that. The temperance can be what they should have embraced. They didn't. They were caught up in their ego, crumbling down of the tower, coming full circle with the world. Two of swords. This person can be uh, closed off. But they, look, the Two of Swords, again, is here. So they know that there is a decision that uh, doesn't come from them about the completion. They are kind of waiting. But uh, others have already understood that uh, some of you guys have made up your mind. Let's see the Hanged Man. Hanged Man in the meeting. There is a higher purpose within the Hanged Man. Seven of Pentacles, this is a process. It is unfolding uh, according to the timelines. TikTok also, the Wheel of Fortune that we have seen. Patience, some of you have been patient with this person. Um, your patience didn't pay dividends. And at some point, um, at some point, we need to put a closing point. Excuse me for the repetition, but... I am sure that you can understand what I mean. Um, Four of Pentacles, safe mode. This man is keeping a pentacle extremely close to his chest because previous experiences have taught him that this can be the wisest choice to make. Knight of Swords, avoiding harsh words. This can be about discussions, guys, especially considering the Five of Swords. The Knight sometimes can lose focus of the proper choice of words in order to convey a precise message and we can uh, we can fall for heated exchanges, petty fights, meaningless arguments, all situations that can resonate with the five of swords. Let's see the eight. This one. Death card. It's done basically. It's a revolution. And the judgment, bottom of the smaller deck, can be one final um, conversation with this person. They can ask for a second chance. They can ask some of you guys to reconsider, even considering the temperance. But the death card is a revolution. It gives even more power to the tower and the world. It's a completion. The runner is about someone that goes away. It can speak about some of you coughing. Um, as uh, challenging as it is, as a concept, uh, it's a liberation for some of you guys. There is a divine truth that uh, you have been able to achieve. And then it's time to go, basically, according to these energies. Let's see some more Oracle cards for guidance, considering these energies. Meditation brings answers. Kind of makes the point considering the um, Judgment Major Arcana, the Hanged Man, and the Two of Swords, in order to make a decision, a soulful one, it comes from within because the Death Card can even be um, an inner process. So for some of you, for sure, you have achieved or you can achieve a lot of clarity and you can see the situation for what it truly is. Not the right time. This can be about the connection. It was not meant to be, uh, let's say. 
again time is a factor and it can also be about the fact that the process cannot be rushed it uh, it needs to unfold according to uh, precise steps especially if there are practicalities about uh, material things involved no need to worry guys should be an encouragement uh, in favor of some of you um, it's a transition it can be challenging yes but there can be something better uh, big happy changes bottom of uh, no need to worry so I will pull it guys uh, it is um, a situation that couldn't manifest properly the two of cups which is lovely of course on an energy level but um, the connection with a person caught up in their ego in their mind in their um, arrogance even couldn't find a way to overcome the um, the bumps in the road and it was not possible to move towards um, something that was um, a long-term satisfaction and that's why the closing point so guys I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow some way let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time I wish you the best take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon bye